What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing a really cool team that features three combos. You got the Cresselia and Ursaluna combo, you got the Dentozo and Tatsugiri combo, then you got the Snow combo, you got Iron Bundle alongside with Obama Snow. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But huge shout out to the team creator, Ryoto Osubu. We'll be leaving a link down in the description below to their channel and a link down below to the Poke page for this team. So if you guys want to check out any of that, like I said, links are down in the description below. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be my boy, Don Dizio. Don Dozo with Oblivious and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's Rock and Wave Crash, it's got Rock Slide, it's got Terror Blast, and it does have Bulldoze for a little bit of speed control on this Pokemon. In our second slot, we got the Cresselia. Cresselia pairs up perfectly with Ursaluna and it is, it is a great Trick Room setter. It's got Levitate alongside with the Mental Herb, Rock and Moon Blast, Ally Switch, Trick Room, and Lunar Blessing. In our third slot, we got the one and only Ursaluna. Like I said, pairs up perfectly with Cresselia because it is so strong within the Trick Room. It's got Guts and the Flame Warp to make a hit like a truck, but the Facade, EQ, Sword Stance, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got Don Dizzy's best friend, and it's going to be Tatsugiri with Commander and a Choice Scarf as its item. It's rocking Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, Chilling Water, and Memento for a great support move late in the game. Iron Bundle is going to be in our fifth slot, not just any Iron Bundle, it is going to be Choice Specs Iron Bundle. This Pokemon hits really, really hard, pairing up with the Bomb of Snow. It's got Blizzard, which will be hitting 100% of the time within the snow. It's got Cork Drive as its ability, and then its other three moves consist of Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Freeze Dry. In our final slot, we got a Bomb of Snow, a great Pokemon for setting weather, and another poke or another move that goes really well with this thing is a Roar Bell. Roar Bell makes your team really, really bulky. It's a Reflect and Light Stream all in one. He's got Snow Warning, and he's also holding the Weakness Policy as his item. He's got Blizzard, Giga Drain, Roar Bell, like we already mentioned, and Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to write the team for yourself, run the code is at top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder and let's get look to get some wins with this Bomb of Snow and Iron Bundle Snow team. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we're going up against a Shen Pao and Urshifu team. They're also rocking out with Torkoal to pop the Protosynthesis on their Fluttermane and Great Tusk, and then they got Boom in their final slot. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I'm kind of leaning towards. Iron Bundle and Obama Snow, but the thing is they do have Torkoal, which could be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to go Don Dozo alongside with Iron Bundle. It's going to be a great lead. We can also have Tatsugiri in the back end so we can swap into uh, Tatsugiri if you want to. Pop the commander, all that good stuff, and get cooking from there. And, um, hmm. Who should my final Pokemon be? Probably Obama Snow, right? I really like that the, the typing here. Especially with the snow, I can pair it up with the iron bundle. We can get after it that way. We can stop Protosynthesis boost. It can work out really, really well for us. So that's going to be my team. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But uh, something I want to mention in the team preview that I totally forgot. Regulation E is coming out. The new DLC is coming out, which means a bunch of new Pokemon for the competitive scene. I'm super excited for it. Cannot wait to use a lot of them, especially like the starters, all that good stuff and make content for you guys. So if you guys have teams... If you guys are planning on making teams, get them to me as soon as possible. DLC comes out in less than a week, and I would love to make some casual battle videos with all different types of themes. So, if you guys have teams, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below, or do me one better. Head over to my Twitter and DM me over on there. Would love to get a bunch of teams going and make some videos for you guys. But, uh, let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be Rillaboom and Fluttermane, which I don't really mind. I mean, I think I'm just going to hard swap my, uh, my bundle into Tatsugiri, considering Don Dozo does have the Cobra Cloak. That can actually work out really, really well for us. And then Terrastalize at the same time, right? We don't want to get hit by a Wood Hammer. Wood Hammer is just going to absolutely maul us. So I think Terrastalize and maybe just going for a Terra Blast into Will It's going to be our play. Where do we Wave Crash down the Fluttermane? I said we get rid of Rillaboom. Just get, just get rid of this Pokemon, right? Hmm. I think I'd rather get rid of Fluttermane. Let's just, let's just go Terra Wave Crash. Just try to get rid of Fluttermane. This Pokemon's mad annoying. Right, Fluttermane. Fluttermane's a bigger threat. Fluttermane is such a bigger threat. Plus, I don't know if we can KO the real in one shot. He's a bit more bulkier than Fluttermane is, so getting rid of Fluttermane could be massive. I'm gonna swap the bundle. 
They want to fake out my Dando so they can fake out my Dando so we got the Cobra Cloak on. Which is just a gorgeous sight. It's a lovely little sight. So Commander coming out here. Little sushi fish hopping in the mouth. That work ain't cooking. Plus two all stats. No problem. No problem. No problemo. I would love to get rid of about two Pokemon with Dando. That could be massive. So we get to tear oh they are, they're they slicing too. It's gotta be the flutter man. You're going for big time fairy damage, right? Well let Terra type be a cooking. What? Only when I verse. Only when I verse flutter means, man. Like it's so weird. It's so weird. Like you never really see a water terror type flutter main. But when I'm going for wave crash with Don Dozo into it, it's a like of course they have this. Of course they have it. That is just that is just terrible, man. Of course, yo, that is so annoying, man. How often do you see this? And of course, it comes out at this time. So he ends up going for fake out, wasting his turn. Dash and Gleam's gonna get cooking here, and we should be able to soak that pretty well. Not crazy. Not the crazy. Recoil is gonna do a bit more damage to us, and yeah, that kind of hurts. How much damage are we doing? Oh, we still KO. It's beautiful. <laughs> we love it. We love it. <laughs> we love it. So they waste their terror dive. I was complaining for nothing. I was complaining for nothing. So big time KO. Like I said, Fluttermane's not that beefy. We're hitting like a truck. And we get some HP recovery. Thank you, Little Boom. Thank you. So now I'm coming after you with the Terror Blast, most likely. And we'll get after it that way. We'll see what they want to do here. We're going to go to Torkoal. Torkoal, you're a little annoying. You are definitely a little annoying. You are definitely a little annoying. Uh, we go Rock Slide instead, or do I just make sure... What do I do? Do I attack? Hmm. Like, I think Wave Crash is still doing a nice chunk of damage on this. I mean, he's probably going for a Heat Wave. That's my back end Pokemon. I have Draco Meteor. I have. What else we got? We got all you guys. So I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about the little. I think we have to just get off as much damage as we possibly can onto. What would do more damage? Rock Slide or Wave Crash? Wave Crash is going to be half. But it is Stab. I'm still doing a nice chunk of damage. I'm going right after Torkoal. I'm going right after Torkoal with Wave Crash. And they just canceled battle. Yo, let's go. We'll take that hot start for us. We pick up a victory. Second match is coming at you guys. Made our first opponent quit. And now we're going up against a Sandstorm team. They got T-Tart. They got like a rock. I got to bring in the combo of my own. And I honestly might just go same squad. Don Dozo alongside with bundle and then go a bombstone tatsukiri it seems to work really really well i actually really really like it so that is going to be my lead that is going to be my lead that is going to be the team i'm bringing if they want to go into say uh they want to go into sandstorm right off the rip then i will just swap down dozo if they don't i can always swap the iron bundle and then uh, kind of go from there so i can always swap iron bundle into tatsukiri to pair up with down dozo and i can always swap the down dozo with the bombstone to pair up the iron bundle and a bombstone so it works really really well but they're going to end up leading these two. And I think it's just a simple hard swap here. Because we do have the Curve Claw. Kind of like last match when we were versus the Roll Boom. I think we just swap into Tatsugiri here. And we just bulldoze. And the reason I want to bulldoze more so than anything is he's going to get the speed drop. And on top of that, it's going to knock off the skies. Or do I just go Rock Slide and say that's going to land? Yeah, I like the Rock Slide here. Because then we get a potential flinch chance. Cool, well, we're going to outspeed anyway. Love it, love it. I know that Iron Hands does have the electric typing, but I don't think it's going for it this shot. I really think it's going for more so a fake out this turn. It may be like a Sword Stance pop with Mimikyu. So, I like that. I like that. And then we could potentially Terrasalize next turn. So, we'll see what they want to do here. We go for the swap, all that good stuff. If you want to fake out my Don Dozo, you can. That's fine. We got the Covert Cloak on. We got the Cloak of Covert. And he's probably like, oh my god. Of course he has the Covert Cloak on. Yep, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So he probably just made a good read, thinking we were going to swap. And he's going for Trick Room. Okay, now that, that kind of hurts. Trick Room. Trick Room. Really? You're a Trick Room person? That's fine. I'm just going to Terrasalize and... Mm, but then that gives him Drain Punch. Ah, man. I think we could definitely eat up a Wild Charge. I'm just gonna Wave Crash down the Mimikyu. What do I go after you? Options, options, options. This is tough. I'm gonna take out Mimikyu here. 
I'm gonna get rid of Mimikyu. It's a withdrawal Mimikyu. Wow, who are you gonna go into here? He's taking a nice chunk of damage. Probably the most perfect swap ever, right? Yep, I'm gonna just hurt hard. Hurt, and that's really not doing that much damage. That's fine. You might just read a terror there. I do have the ice terror. Big crash coming in here. I could ice terror now and try to get rid of a Moogus, but I think it's just a problem. He's gonna put me to sleep. He's put me to sleep, and we just don't want that. Of course, you got the citrus spray. Eating up all day. Uh, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? I mean, should probably just try to go for the wave crash, but again, he's put me to sleep. He's put me to sleep. I wish I had protect so I could start wasting out terror, uh, trickering turns. So I do not have my Ursula in here. Train Punch is staying in this slot. And you gotta be putting me to sleep. You gotta be putting me to sleep. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Tough. Tough. Great plays from our opponent, though. Real solid plays from our opponent. So I'm slumped. Night, night. Hurts the soul. And we'll go from there. It was just such a good swap for me to go into a movie there. Uh, from here, we're just gonna keep spamming Wave Crash and trying to waste out these Strickland turns because I like our back end Pokemon. Mimikyu doesn't have the skies. You can really start ripping. I can always set up an order though, which would be good. But it really depends because this Iron Hands is just a huge threat to us. It really is. I'm surprised he hasn't switched over to Wild Charge yet. Probably this turn he would. Yep, withdraw and then he's just gonna Wild Charge and finish me off. Smart play. Smart cookie play. <coughs> he ends up coming back into Mimikyu here. Thunder Punch comes out here. And we're actually able to soak that, which I'm a huge fan of. Huge fan of. So we're able to soak that. We're going to go for the Wave Crash at the Mimikyu slot. And we're just wasting out these Tricking Turns. Tricking Turns are slowly getting wasted out. Thunder Punch coming in here, and that's going to finish me off. And this is what sucks, is I think he he knows that he's going to go into Thunder Punch to finish off my Don Dozo. And now he's probably going into Play Rough. Yep. Easy double kill. Great dude, our opponent's playing so good right now. So good. So Trick Room, is Trick Room done or is it not? Because if it's not, we are in such a terrible position. Okay, cool, it's done. We wasted out the turns. And now I can get out the squad. The squad is here. Do I double Blizzard is a real question. Because we, we can't really afford to go up against another Trick Room, right? We can't really afford to do that. I get the Snow one. I could double Blizzard. And try to take out Mimikyu. We have Terra Ice, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terra Ice here. And I'm going to double Blizzard. We can't afford to go up to, for them to set up another trip in. I, as much as I want to get off a War Veil, I can't afford it. So we're kind of hoping for a freeze here because our opponent just destroyed us. Just destroyed our Don Dozer combo. Played it so perfectly. Popped the Trick Room. Really wasn't expecting him to pop Trick Room. But we gotta go from there. So Blizzard's gonna fly here. We get the terror boost. And how much damage are we doing? Of course we leave Mimikyu on one. Can you KO Obama Snow? Let's go. That's now that's massive. Now that is massive because we know they have Amoongus in the back end. Amoongus could Terra. And I might just read it and go into a Giga Drain into that slot. That is massive double KO. I knew we were gonna KO the Mimikyu. I wasn't worried about the Mimikyu. But the Iron Bundle. Or not the Iron Bundle, the Iron Hands. I wasn't sure if the Iron Hands could up. So now Trick Room is gone. I think Aurora Veil is an absolute must to set up here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go Blizzard. I got to go Blizzard Giga Drain. Or do I set up the Aurora Veil? I set up the Aurora Veil. We know we outspeed these guys. The Moogus just straight up protects. Aurora Veil will come out here beforehand, which is great. And we'll go from there. They didn't Terra yet. I don't believe they did. Yeah, no, they didn't. So they still have Terra. Blizzard's cooking. Choice Spec Stab. With terror type on top of that. It's doing some nice damage. And the Roar Veil's out of the house. So we get the Roar Veil set up. Can the back end snow combo clutch up for us? It's gonna be a close one. Heavy slam coming in here. Thank you, Roar Veil. Thank you, Roar Veil. So from here, I'm gonna drop the Blizzard. And I'm gonna go Giga Drain in this slot just in case this is water terror type. Right? Just in case it's water terror type. Which is a. Which is a likely terror for Mugus's. So I'm gonna do that. So we'll see a terror come out here. It's gotta be Mugus. It's gotta be. Show me water, at least. Fairy. Of course this thing's fairy. A little bit of fairy action. 
The fairy comes out and he protects Glacier, which is an odd protect. That's a real odd protect. Maybe I should double down with Blizzard. The Blizzard's gonna come out here. Maybe we can get a freeze on Tamugas. Let's just see how much damage this is doing, first of all. Because this could do some nice damage here. Yeah, look at that damage. Can Giga Drain KO or should we run for Blizzard? Giga Drain is gonna KO. Let's go. Let's go with the ice combo in the back end. I think I underestimated how much damage these blizzards do. It's absurd. It's absurd. So from here, we're choosing the blizzard. We're gonna keep cooking with it, and we're just gonna go into a Giga Drain. Giga Drain will do a bit more damage than Blizzard, and we'll go. We'll go from there. <coughs> so Blizzard does that much. Can Giga Drain finish it off? It does, yo. Let's go. A bomb of snow, iron bundle clutching up for us. We're two and zero. Final match is here, and can we go back-to-back -back videos with the perfect records? I seriously hope so. I got an itchy nose right now. So you're going to see me grab my shirt and itch my nose like I just did. So, let's get it. Let's get it. We're going up against a Skull Villain team with... I forget that Pokemon team, but it's Gothitelle's lower evolution. Gothita? Is that it? I think it is. Yo, my nose. Bother me, man. It's bothering me. They also have Azumarill. They got Parish Song with the Screamtail. And then they're rocking out with uh, Urshifu and Goldigo. How should we play this one? Who should we go into? I don't mind the weather. I simply don't mind the weather. Like, Golden is a little bit of a problem if they're going to do that. But I feel as these two could be good. I could actually go Ursaluna and Cress. Not too shabby. It's definitely not too shabby. And you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Ursaluna. I'm going to go... Actually, no. I'm not doing that. Actually, yes, I am. We're going to go in with both of them. Try to get that cooking right off the rip. And then as back-end Pokemon, we're just going to go Dantoza by itself with Iron Bundle. Because Iron Bundle in the back end is going to be fine. Dantoza is kind of slow by himself without Tatsugiri. So having the Trick Room Squad with Dantoza by itself could be pretty good. Because he's still hitting hard with Wave Crash. He still is. So we'll see what they want to do here. But again, we're 2-0. Oh. We're 2-0. Oh, so we're chilling. We're chilling. Another winning record for you guys. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. But Gothita comes out here alongside with Screen Town. I think it pretty much does the same thing, just a bit more bulk here with the Evo Light. So from here, I'm just gonna pop a Trick Room. And I'm gonna Swords Dance here. I'm gonna Swords Dance here. The reason I'm gonna Swords Dance is because that's fine. But the reason I wanna Swords Dance is because I think Parasong is gonna come out here, and which it does. If Parasong does come out here, we are popping a nice, lovely Swords Dance. I'm gonna try to get some value out. So do we still pop Trick Room? Probably not, right? Probably not. Do we just EQ and ally switch? Potentially, right? We're guts boosted. That's stab. We're sword stance plus two. We're hitting like a truck. I think we just ally switch and then we just go in with the EQs. All day. All day. They're probably protecting stuff, withdrawing, all that good stuff. He's gonna go into from here. You going into nobody with the flying types, right? Skull villain, that's fine. I still feel as we're KOing that thing. So I don't want to pop trick room. I really don't want to pop trick room. I'm gonna save the back end for my uh for my boy, and he's just gonna encore me. It's a great ally switch. That was a great ally switch. And I got the mental room. Huge. And it my encore. So EQ is now flying. Levitate coming out here. And we're doing some big time damage. So we do that. And we're hoping they're not going back, in, back into Gothel. But chances are they're going to they're do that. But I got off a lot of value with this Ursaluna already. Hitting like a truck. Parasong's down to two. Um, they're probably bringing him back out for another fake out chance. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. There's Gotharita. That's what it is. Gotharita. Shadow Tag is here. Let me just make sure I can't swap, right? Yes. Shadow Tag. They got the lovely little shadow attack. So from here, I could double protect. I think I'm just gonna EQ. Cause I don't want him to encore me into stuff like that. And I'm just gonna moon blast. That's fine. So good thing I did ally switch last time, because if I didn't ally switch, whew, could've been real ugly. So he ends up faking out my Ursula. That's totally fine. You're gonna encore me back in ally switch. That's fine. That's cool, I guess. We'll go from there. So he knows I'm ally switching. 
I can't really swap or do anything. And I flinch it. So, I mean, chances are Dreamtail is just going to protect. We're hoping Goth Gotharita doesn't have protect on it. So, I can just at least get off some damage onto that. And we'll go from there. Because I'm just going to Moonblast. Oh, not Moonblast. I'm just going to stick with my Ally Switch. Can I, can I go down to Ally Switch, please? Thank you very much. And do I stick with my EQ or a Cook Facade? Because what Pokemon do they have? No flying type Pokemon. EQ works perfectly. We're just hoping they don't have Protect on Gotharita. Because I know they're protecting Scream Town. We, we know that's happening. Because <coughs> I would love to pick up one more one more EQ, right? Love to do damage with one. So I'll switch coming out here. It's going to fail. And wow, you got the same. Of course, it's love. It's lovely. So both these Pokemon are gonna go down. I still feel as we got some value out. We got rid of Skull. We got rid of Skull Villain and Trick Room comes out here. That's a great play. Again, I still feel as we got some value out. It's so hard to play up against uh, these two. They're just so good. They really are. So my Ursuline is gonna drop out here. My Crest is gonna drop out here. And I wonder if this Covert Cloak dodge the effects of that. That would be pretty cool, because I feel as there should be a way to do this. Screamtail's gonna drop out here too, okay. I forgot Screamtail was still Parasol. But, uh, we got you. We got you. And Trick Room is out. So we'll see. So the Iron Bundle comes out here. This, this is a good match. Parasol was so powerful, it really was. And they're gonna go into Azumarill. Okay. So I still have Terra. Ice Terra. Is Ice Terra really gonna be anything crazy? Not really. Maybe we just wave crash you. And did we just go for the freeze right here for KO? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I believe so. so I like her typing with the water. Especially up against the fairy, up against the, uh, the water itself. I really don't want to change the ice. So we'll see what other tricks Gotham Rita has up its sleeve, because that Pokemon is a little scary. It just faked out so far, and that, that's all it did. That's all it did. It just faked out. <laughs> that's, that's legit all it did. It ends up protecting. Okay. We have a Wave Crash coming into the Gotham Rita slot. Gotham Rita's probably setting up another pair of song. No, you don't protect it. That's odd. What's up with the double protect? Just reading out what I'm doing? Probably, right? Hmm. Okay, we'll go. We'll do the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. Doing the same thing. The terrorist type's gonna come out here, changing up the zoom rail. Probably a straight fairy, or maybe it's. There's no way it's grass, right? You no, know, it's gonna be Gotham Rita in the terror type. In the dark. A little bit of dark terror type. Dude, this thing's got so many tricks up its sleeve. I love it, though. I love it. I love seeing Pokemon like this being used. Play rough coming out here. We're able to soak. And a foul play to KO me. You little biscuit. I soak! We love it. We love it. I soak. Wave Crash can do some damage. And more importantly, Freeze Dry's KO. All day long. My boy, Iron B. The GOAT. The GOAT. MVP of today's video. So they do Rastalize to get a bit more damage boost on the Foul Play. But yo, Foul Play's damage goes up against my physical attack stat. And luckily, luckily, my boy is special attacking, so he does not have too much physical attacks at. So I wave crash, I go into a freeze try, and that is looking like an ace little 3-0 perfect record. Nice little perfect record for you guys. We love it. We love it. Back to back perfect records. We're killing it on the rank ladder. I'm top 2,000 right now. I'm at like, I think 1,800. I think I'll be like 1,800 after this, this win right here. Because I'm at like 22. The foul play is going to get cooking here. I wish I had protect because I knew this was coming after me. And you actually go after Wow, you go after him. That's a big mistake. That's a big mistake because now a freeze dry is just going to KO you. See you later. Good game. 3-0. Monstrous perfect record. Let's get it.
Come on, man. That is too easy. 3 0. Perfect record. Rocking out with all these combos. We use Crest, we use Ursaluna, we use Tatsuguri and Dondozo, and Iron Bundle, Obama Snow coming in clutch in multiple different battles. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.